Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2690 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 26 moves to clear out 130 jelly and also collect two ingredients. So it looks like the ingredients are up here and we have to get them down here, but there's a lot of barrier in the way. If you find these videos helpful, let us that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. So first let's talk about the board in general and then let's look at the moves we have as possibilities. In order to get from here down to here, I've got to get through toffee and candy coats on toffee. Really difficult. Plus, before I can even let this descend, I've got these candy curls, three layers thick, wrapped around here I think would be really, really good. All right, and that's just to get the ingredients. Then let's talk about the jelly. We've got toffee, we've got chocolate, I'm sorry, toffee. We've got um, licorice, we've got chocolate, we've got licorice locks. We've got sugar chests, so we need to collect these sugar keys. We have got frosting, we have got cutouts, we've got candy cane fences. What don't we have? Uh, it's a rhetorical question. I don't need the answer. Um, all right. And I say to get through to the jelly, but also these blockers prohibit me from being able to work effectively to bring the ingredients down too. If I do this move, that seems good, right? It's a striped candy. At least it can start me on my path. But no, it's a trap. Because look at this. Right now, the chocolate cannot get to us. It cannot grow in any way. It can't expand on the board. Once we take out some of this licorice, then it can grow. If I make this move, it takes out the crystal candies, which is good. It makes a stripe, which is actually neutral because it doesn't matter what's made. It would take out this licorice, drop down to here. This would be the only chocolate that could grow and it would only be able to grow in one place and that would be to cover over that stripe. I don't think that's the best way to start the board. I might want to use that, but I'm going to first give the chocolate a different place it might choose to grow. Now if I do this, I might be able to hold on to that stripe. Oh, that was nice. We actually had a, a bit of a bounce on that, a cascade that allowed us to actually use that stripe. And we see we've got a frog and we've got some stripes. That's good. I don't have any good moves here, so I'm taking some bad moves and hoping to try to get some better moves with setting things up. All right, there. That reshuffle helped immensely. And so did that bump there. Now we still have chocolate growing. I can do this stripe to get rid of that chocolate. It messed up what I was trying to set up over here, but I don't think that what I was gonna set up there was gonna be particularly helpful. Although I do think that there's value in getting that frog freed quickly. Um, I also really want to get these keys and I think that's my mistake is I'm not focusing on what I need to do first and I think it's to get to those keys. Okay, so there. Now we've opened up the board. Oh, and now I have a little bit of a gift here. Yeah, that's going to help me really take out a lot and maybe these candy curls or at least some of this toffee here and also everything that hits the frog and then also hits green helps to fill that frog. Let's make that. I really want her to get on the move. I don't have much of a chance to do that yet. So I'm also looking for other things that might help on this board. I was going to try to fill her and then move her into one of these areas because I think she'll easily go on a toffee and erase that entire five layers. Um, however, I don't seem to be able to hold out to, to get that done. So let's pair this. Ah, didn't quite work that way either, did it? Very volatile because we only have four colors. Now at least I can get her filled, right? Eventually. Here we go, stripe draft combo. Let's see how valuable this is. Okay, so now we have this. I'm gonna test the theory that we can put it on a toffee. We only have four moves left. The chance of me actually winning isn't good. 
But look at this, we have three layers there and I can get rid of all of those layers plus bounce onto that toffee. Uh, I haven't also used these stripes in here. And I think there are two reasons uh, that this has gone so poorly. One is that I just haven't played it well and that happens when we don't know the board well. Another is that I think I just had some bad options in the beginning. And so even if I had played super well, I, I don't know that I could have won this one. And that's okay. All right, so I'm going to take out all blue because it's going to have the most value. I can see now that uh, taking out those candy curls can be done by hitting this. So I could either take out blue to do this or actually orange would be better. Let's take out orange because that will set off these blue. It's not like I'm trying to fill the frog at this point in time. The frog isn't going to help. Let's see how far we can knock this down. Now also notice that the I placed the frog here and the frog is an impediment to the ingredient. So if I don't have enough turns to move the frog away once I place her, then she becomes a problem instead of a help. All right, so let's take out all orange. And then what I'm going to do in the future, let's before I make that move, I want to discuss how I'm going to start this next time. I am going to work on clearing everything out here because I think it's going to give me better access to those keys. I want those keys immediately and I want to get the frog much more quickly than I did. I only want to move her over here if I've got a fairly decent chance of getting a color bomb or something that I can match to fill her so that I can move her out of the way. Uh, and I want to focus more on what these stripe dispensers can do for me. And when I come back, I'll have the microphone turned off, but I will bring it back up when I have something important to share. Okay, so 11 jelly, the two ingredients, if I can get rid of all of the jelly, presumably I would get rid of the ingredients, unless I do something like silly, like leave the frog there. So I'm gonna focus more on the jelly next time. But in order to get the jelly, there's a lot of jelly in these columns, so I'm not gonna ignore this area. I just think that there's also jelly everywhere else on the board that I need to, to deal with. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with the new board. I will have the microphone turned off, like I said, but I will bring it back on when I have something important to share.
Okay, so I really like this attempt, and I think this is like either my, I think it's just my second attempt, might be my third. Um, but you saw how fun this was to uh, make the frog into a color bomb, have everything explode. That's the kind of thing we need. And now, since I was able to match this up, all I need to do is just remove this from the scene and that ingredient automatically gets collected. So that's how I beat this level. Understanding how the board works helps. Getting really good combos <laughs> helps even more. And so using those two in concert is I think how you need to beat this board. So every time you play, win or lose, you're, you're gaining information and experience that will help you in future events. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.